Oh, please, don't stand for me, because I don't stand for anything. They wanted me to put my speech on a teleprompter, but I insisted on handwriting it on hotel stationery. <laughs> then I got to my room and realized there was no stationery. <laughs> well, what a year. I got nominated for an Emmy and lost. I got nominated for a Critics' Choice Award and lost. And I just did my fifth Broadway musical and still haven't been nominated for a Tony. I could do a one one I could do a one woman performance of Angels in America on 9/11 in Arabic while dressed as Hamilton and I still wouldn't get nominated for a tone. So this award that they just took away from me couldn't come at a better time. They told me there'd be enough light here but there isn't. What would I be and where would I be without gay people? I'd be wearing dockers and a top from Chico's <laughs> while ringing up other people's groceries. I'd have no career, no fans, no laughs. I'd be using hair color from a box. It would be the only color in my life. I wouldn't have any of my friends, I wouldn't have any fun, I wouldn't have any laughs. Life would be like, like Handmaid's Tale and Mike Pence was the husband I'd have to have sex with. <laughs> and Karen Pence would be holding me down because you know, they do everything together. <laughs> You're the only people who get me, the only people outside of Manhattan who get dark and mean and sarcasm and funny are gay people. Clearly, you have given me way more than I have given you. I grew up listening to records of Broadway musicals and memorizing them when I was little. By the time I was a nine-year-old girl, I was a gay man. <laughs> How much do I love you that I slept out here on Shabbos? Any Jews here? <laughs> and it's Shavuos now, by the way. It's Shavuos, it's Shavuot. Nobody knows that. I think you might be m more my people than the Jews. I feel very conflicted. <laughs> Bless you and the work you do and may you continue to thrive. And I say that not only for the good of man and womankind, but for selfish reasons, because being a postmenopausal woman in show business, my only future is to perform at gay nursing homes. <laughs> Thank you.